guys, Sophie here sitting at my breakfast table and today I'm going to share with you what I eat during the course of a day. Okay, so this is an example of what I eat for some of my breakfasts. Now, it's not every day that I eat exactly what I'm showing you, but I wanted to give you a general example of what I eat. So this is my all-time favorite breakfast right here, and it's really easy to make. It's basically a chia pudding. So I mix uh, coconut milk with chia seeds the night before to form this thick pudding here, and it has all the omegas and the fiber and all that goodness in it. And then I literally load it with fruit, and nuts and maybe a little bit of gluten-free granola. But this is what I love because it really, really fills me up and it's so satisfying and easy to make. Now, sometimes I will do a gluten-free or even a grain-free granola. This is a grain-free granola, um, which I really like. I just make it with nuts and seeds and coconut shreds and it's really easy to make. And again, it's filling and it's particularly got those seeds that are really, really healthy. Now, I, every single morning, I'll have some kind of a smoothie. So right here, I have a green smoothie, which I've made with kale and banana and chlorella and all kinds of different things. But, you know, I have all these different smoothie recipes on my site and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have them there. This, actu this one actually I made with, I always use a non-dairy milk. And this one I use with forager milk. I've just found this and I love it. It's a cashew milk and it's so, so delicious. It makes for a really, really creamy, creamy drink. And then the other thing that I have is I always have a great big bowl of berries, of fresh organic berries. And um, I, you know, sometimes you can't get fresh organic berries year round, so they might be frozen in the winter. But I have these because after I've had my breakfast, if I'm still hungry and I'm getting to work, then I'll just sit and sort of pick at these. So it becomes my kind of extended breakfast slash snack. So that pretty much is the broad strokes of my breakfast. Sometimes I will say that I want something to crunch on, so I want a little piece of toast. So sometimes I'll have a little bit of gluten-free toast, a little bit of uh, dairy-free, a vegan spread, uh, maybe some sugar-free jelly, a little bit of raw honey. So that's the only addition that I have. And of course, I always have a cup of tea. It'll either be green tea or black tea. And if it's black tea, uh, I'll add a little bit of non-dairy milk or creamer. So that, my friends, is breakfast. All right, now it's lunchtime. And luckily for me, living in southern, sunny Southern California, it's almost always sunny. So I get to eat a lot of my lunches outside. And this is really important for me because sitting outside, or at least looking at something natural, encourages me to stop what I'm doing, to put my phone down, to get off the computer, and to actually sit down and lay a proper lunch out for myself. And I encourage you to do this, even if you're sitting at a desk, because the one thing I absolutely know to be true is that when we digest our food and eat mindfully, your food, your food is digested in such a different way so if you suffer from any digestive issues bloating or anything then you might really want to consider the way that you're eating and slow down so this is generally what I will eat for lunch I will eat a humongous salad and the reason is is because it's the one meal of the day where I get to include raw foods into my diet. Now, I don't believe in eating a completely raw food diet. I think there's a place for cooked foods as well, for, for primarily for digestibility. And my salads go with the seasons. So in the summer, it'll have a lot more um, sort of seasonal, either tomatoes and cucumbers and anything that's local and seasonal. And in the winter, I include a lot more um, sort of roasted veggies. So I'll do a sort of combo salad. It'll be cooked and raw. So right now we're in the fall or we're just going into the fall. So in this salad right here that I'm gonna show you, we have um, all kinds of different raw and um, cooked veggies. So let's come in nice and close and have a look at this. 
So in this salad right here, I have kale, marinated kale. I have marinated shredded cabbage so that I have all of those cruciferous veggies. I have um, beets and I'll either do beets. These are roasted beets, roasted golden beets, or I might do, do a roasted butternut squash or even a roasted sweet potato. But either way, I'll have something starchy like that because that's what fills me up. And then I'll have the good fats. So I'll always, almost always, I'll have an avocado and that's really important. Then on the side, I'll do some kind of a gluten-free bread. Now this is the most delicious thing ever. It's so easy to make. I'm gonna have the link to the recipe um, underneath this video. And it's a coconut flour flatbread. You can make it in about five minutes. It's absolutely delicious. It's grain-free and so healthy. It's got healthy fats in it and goes beautifully with this, uh, with any kind of salad that you want. And then, uh, what I'll tend to do is I don't chug loads of liquid while I'm actually eating because it's better for your digestion if you don't. But what I sometimes have is I'll have a small glass of um, kombucha maybe or uh, a kefir, a kavita drink. Right here I have the Health Aid kombucha that I really like. This is the Power Greens one. So I'll just have a little bit and maybe I'll have this just about five or ten minutes before my meal or after my meal just have a little sip mm. oh it tastes so so good and it feels civilized like I'm sitting down with a nice little cocktail or something and so that really is generally the broad strokes of my lunch and of course as I said it really changes with from season to season okay guys so now it is dinner time so my favorite dinner is a dinner bowl because it's my way of getting all of the nutrients and the delicious foods I want in one portion. And the great thing about a bowl is that I can make different, I can customize them for my daughter and for my husband. So if they want a little bit of a different kind of a protein on, then you can just throw that on too. So that's what's so genius about any kind of dinner bowl. Fully, fully customizable. Now I eat a plant-based diet. And so because of that, I need to get a lot of different sort of nutrients in. And also I eat with my eyes. We all eat with our eyes. So my bowl needs to be very pretty. I wanna present something that's just beautiful to look at for me and for my family members. So let's take a look at an example of a bowl that I have cooked uh, for tonight. Now, in this one here, when I typically do these bowls, I'll sort of separate the different um, veggies, or if I have, if I've got a protein there, into different groups. So right here, I've got my protein, which is uh, black beans. Then I've got broccoli. I'll often put a lot more broccoli than that in. Then I have my fermented red cabbage, so that I get those good gut-friendly fermented veggies in. Um, I have some cauliflower that is also fermented, which is so delicious. Um, I have brown rice, so I always have a grain. You might want to do quinoa or millet or something different and then I have my sort of starchy vegetables um, right here I have some roasted squash and some carrots and then I have a little bit of raw kale in there sometimes it'll be uh, actual kale I mean not actual kale it'll be steamed kale or sauteed kale so really the sky's the limit of what you can do and I think the real key to make these bowls delicious is to sort of mix up sometimes I'll have I'll have some steamed veggies, I'll have some roasted veggies, I'll have some fermented veggies because then you get all these delicious different flavors. You get the caramelized of the roasted if you're roasting your cauliflower or your carrots and then you'll have the sort of tart zing of the fermented veggies and then you've got always got that lovely protein and beans I think are one of the healthiest foods on the planet. They guard against so many different cancers and it's such a great uh, way to get your protein in. But as I mentioned before if you wanted to add some tofu to it or even for other family members you could put a little salmon, a little bit of grilled chicken or whatever it is that everybody likes to eat. But here's the major key of the bowl that um that I couldn't eat my bowls without is a dressing. It has to have an awesome, awesome dressing because that's what kicks it to the next level. That would be a little bit boring, doable, but a little bit boring without a dressing. But here I have a dressing and I'll put this recipe um, underneath the video and it is a turmeric 
maple tahini dressing. And so it has all that anti-inflammatory turmeric in it, um, which is just so good for you, but it is unbelievably delicious and you don't want to skimp. I'll use this entire bowl just for this one bowl here. So that, my friends, is pretty much an example. It's an example of what I eat in a day. Obviously, I completely change it up. I don't have a bowl like this every single night, but so many of you have asked and said, Sophie, what do you eat? So I wanted to give you an idea of a, of a really good eating day for me where I'm just happy at the end of the day and just really you know, filled up and sated and, and just thrilled in my own skin. Um, and I'll do another video on the snacks that I eat because I often have little snacks during the day and that's a whole other video in of itself. But I hope you find that helpful. Please let me know what you eat during the day. What are your favorite meals? Do you eat dinner bowls? If so, what do you put in them? What's your favorite salad? And we, I would love to know what you eat for breakfast. And particularly for all you people out there who are plant-based, I think it's so useful for us to feed each other with these ideas and to inspire each other. So please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.